Hey everybody, and welcome to Plastic Nostalgic. We're all toys and nostalgic eventually. If you caught the end of my last video, you'll know we'll be switching it up a little bit. And today we're going to be checking out Star Wars Retro Series, The Mandalorian. Now, they didn't actually have a Mandalorian figure back then, obviously. But he is made under the style of the old figures. I can't wait to open this one. Here we have the packaging for Star Wars The Mandalorian's Retro Collection. You can see the scene from the show showing his shiny Beskar steel helmet which he has on the action figure. I really wish they would have made this sticker smaller, maybe put it over here on the corner so you can see the whole picture. But I'm sure I've seen it on the show. And if you haven't, you ought to check it out. And on the back of the package in here, we have a, the Star Wars Retro Collection is inspired by 1970s Star Wars figures and features original figure design and detailing. Continue your collection from a galaxy far, far away. It has a list of the figures that are in this wave of retro collection. We'll have to check these out later in another video whole bunch of other writing. But what I do miss about these old packaging retro style packaging is they used to have the uh, picture of the action figures across the top here I, and I really enjoyed checking them off or circling them if I wanted them but all that aside let's get into this one let's get into this one now, I don't know if I've told you or not yet, but I really enjoyed The Mandalorian show. It was like a space age western, and it really felt like a movie or a show about me playing with my toys as a kid. I gotta get a little closer over here, I guess. But as a kid, I had all kinds of action figures, and I would have all kinds of adventures with all of them. Okay, here's some more of that uh, unnecessary literature. That's the card back with his scene on it there. Now let's get this thing out of here. This is a pretty long accessory here. And he has a smaller one too. One for each hand, I guess. He was pretty handy with them. got like I said before that best car steel helmet now the articulation on these was very simple but we didn't need that much back then it's got that classic vinyl cape that was on a bunch of the Star Wars figures at the time like Darth Vader and Ben Kenobi that was one of the first things I'd try to get off of. So I was pretty rough on my action figures, but uh, I was a little nicer to the vehicles because they were a lot bigger. Let's see if we can fit his accessories in his hand. Make sure he doesn't have a holster. Well, a holster, but nothing that can go in it. Give a look under his skirt there. I 
Yes, he will be a fun one to add to the collection. And with those other ones on the back there, I'll be able to have some real nice playtime with these guys. Star Wars was always one of my favorite action figure line. But it's kind of hard to say that they all weren't at one point or another. Uh, hey, uh, can you help me? I uh, seem to have misplaced a, a baby. He's kind of cute. Eats frogs. What's that again, soldier? Thanks for joining us here on Plastic Nostalgic. We're all toys and nostalgic eventually. Join us next time or we'll have a little companion for him. When we open up the Mandalorian's The Child Retro Series. I can't wait to open this one up.